An upstate man is raising awareness of the lack of resources for families who lose loved ones in traffic fatalities. He believes lawmakers need to act immediately. Our Carlos Flores is joining us live with more. Carlos, good evening. Good evening, Nigel and Carol. Scott Wade lost his son in 2018 after he was hit by a driver head on while on his motorcycle. Now that driver received a failure to yield ticket and opened Wade's eyes to a glaring problem in South Carolina. So now he's fighting so no other families will have to experience his pain. The day Scott Wade lost his son Hampton was when his whole world was turned upside down. But what happened after is why he is standing up for other families. Only in South Carolina can you use your car and you run across that center line or pull across, turn across in, some, in front of somebody and kill them and the penalty, the consequence is a traffic ticket. Currently, there are no laws that would punish a driver for a traffic fatality other than reckless vehicular homicide and felony DUI. Both have specific criteria, but Wade says traffic fatality numbers continue to rise. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reported that South Carolina has seen an increase in traffic fatalities since 2013. The same is in Greenville, as the county has seen a steady increase in traffic fatalities since 2019. Wade is now teaming up with ABATE of South Carolina, a motorcycle advocacy group, to create the Gone Too Soon campaign. The campaign calls for victim advocacy to help families through the grieving process and notify them of future court dates. Wade also wants to improve the law so the judge knows that a case was more than a traffic violation. But I really would like somebody to contact me and say, hey, Ralph, I know, you you know, please, we're here. This is a number, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I might not I might not be able to handle it today. But the next day when I'm wondering about the court date, I could call him up and say what's going to happen. It's not about the money. It's about what's right, and there are people dying. Wade says he'll never stop fighting and hopes others will join him. My son was a fine, great young man on the cusp of his life. You don't. You don't want to be on this side of the tracks. Now, Wade and Bell say this they're not just fighting for motorcyclists. They're fighting for all drivers. And if you're interested in learning more about the Gone Too Soon campaign, we'll have more information for you on WYFF4.com. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.